away from that. The Minister of Budget and Economic Planning says strengthening partnership with the European Union is more important now that Nigeria has signed the Samoa Agreement. Moyo Thomas reports. It was an evening to receive the Director General of the Department of International Partnerships at the European Union, who is in Nigeria to participate in the 9th EU Nigeria Business Forum. Also present is the Minister of Budget and Economic Planning, who reiterated the importance of expanding relations with the EU as he announced that Nigeria recently signed the Samoa Agreement. The agreement, as contained also in a statement from the Organization of African, Caribbean and the Pacific States, was signed in Brussels on the 28th of June. It is aimed at strengthening abilities to implement sustainable development policies, capacity building, among other benefits. As you know the European Union is investing a lot in a Team Europe spirit, and I will never insist more on Team Europe. Team Europe means all of us, so it's not just me and the European Commission, the European delegation, but it's really all the EU member states, and I'm really happy to have met many of you already. There is an evolving relationship between Nigeria and EU. We have just signed the Samoa Agreement. It's, 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 a, it's a very, very good moment before the commencement of the EU Business Forums. We have sensitized the Nigerian public sector, Nigerian private sector, about the EU partnerships, the global gateway, and relationship with EU member nations. The Samoa Agreement seeks to promote sustainable development, generate investment opportunities, fight climate change, while strengthening the partnership between the EU and the Organization of African, Caribbean, and the Pacific States. It met with some challenges in Nigeria as some civil society organizations earlier raised concerns over Article 9, stating that the pact is a subtle way of introducing LGBTQ plus to Nigeria. But according to an official of the OACP in a statement sent to TVC News, the article is only highlighting the importance of human rights. In his response, he says, quote, The spirit of the agreement is that on fundamental issues related to cultural values, local legislation and practices will ultimately prevail. End of quote. The Minister of Budget and Economic Planning therefore encouraged Nigerians to focus on the benefit of the agreement and profitable partnership with the EU. Muyo Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.